Who want one last trip to the long trail? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I've been seeing this topic thrown around in the comment section. I have two of the most recent comments that mentioned this, and I thought I should talk about this because I hate to say it, but Tekken Cross Street Fighter is a game I never want to play. Now, the first comment says, I'm really here for Tekken Cross Street Fighter, but I appreciate your news style. The next comment says, the next game should be Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Now, this video isn't shade towards these two comments. There was many others, but I only grabbed two for time's sake. And I don't want Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Before I get into the reasons why I don't want it, I thought I should talk about the facts behind this game. Tekken Cross Street Fighter, the long in development crossover game that was first announced in 2010. Tekken Cross Street Fighter was first announced in 2010. Um, is officially dead according to Harada. Now, Harada doubled back and said that the game is not dead. It was a mistranslation. It's just on hold, on pause. Not to be confused with Tekken, with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which was revealed at the same time and launched in 2012. Bandai Namco's side of the crossover coin spent 11 years in development limbo with minimal updates on its status. So that first section there, Tekken Cross Street Fighter was announced in 2010. That's 11 years, 12 years now that it was in development, in limbo. And let me just say, 12 years, that might as well be a lifetime. Cyberpunk is another game that was that, that had a really long development time, and I believe Cyberpunk was seven years. So 12, that's four more, insane. Now, when Harada recently spoke of Tekken Cross Street Fighter uh, a year ago in his uh, Harada's Bar video, he says, Speaking to the game's overall progress, Harada says, yeah, development stopped, but we got about 30% done. He then goes to discuss that the team had seemingly completed motions for certain characters. Harada is particularly proud of how Dalama turned out. So two things to note here. One, they got 30% done and they got motion capture for many characters. Of course, Akuma, Dalama, and then also, I believe, Ryu and Chung Lee, they were doing some concept art and stuff like that. But 30% done in 12 years of development. Now, there's no way this game's coming next. And this part of the video is gonna be biased, but I'm gonna say it. First off, the 2D characters in Tekken 7, which was kind of a test, was a disaster. Akuma is just a nightmare. Every time I see the words Tekken Cross Street Fighter, all I imagine in my head is one person firing off non-stop fireball spam. Just, just Hadouken, 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 non-stop fireball spam, and the other person trying to block and dance around that. If they were to release a Tekken Cross Street Fighter and it plays the same way that Akuma does in Tekken 7, all of the Street Fighter characters will be S or A. And then all of the Tekken characters will be B, C, and D. You may have a few characters who muddy the gaps. Let's say Leroy Smith may be in S2 or A2, and then you may have like, I don't know, Blanca or something in C. But for the most part, the Tekken characters are just outshined in their own game. And I talked about why I think that is in the past. It's like they gave Akuma 3D mechanics and 2D mechanics. The only way they can make Tekken Cross Street Fighter work if they were to strip the 2D characters of everything that made them 2D. Kind of how they did for uh, the, the, the Tekken characters. They, they weren't able to have crazy combos, uh, they weren't able to, to, to sidestep, uh, 
Th they really got stripped down and became Street Fighter characters. That was what was so cool about Street Fighter Cross Tekken is because here's your favorite Tekken character, but now they play exactly and behave exactly like a Street Fighter character. But Akuma doesn't do that. Akuma breaks the rules. He takes all of his Street Fighter stuff, all of his 2D stuff, and brings that with him into Tekken 7. They did not stop all of that 2D, you know, uh, uh. and this is the thing. Even if you were to remove the EXDP, which is very, very powerful in Tekken 7. It's powerful in Street Fighter, but in Tekken 7, considering that most other characters, all the other characters cannot do that, it's that much more powerful. But even if you take out the EXDP, even if you take out the fireball spam, even if you take out the, the, the death combos, he is still a very dangerous character. The 2D jumping in the air in a game like Tekken 7, where movement is so restricted, all of these characters move clunky and slow, unless you're a DLC character like Lita, Kunimitsu, Zafina, uh, Fakram until he got gutted, um, kind of Leroy Smith, but you get my point. Unless you're one of these special case, cases, your movement is minimal. So when you have a person who can 2D jump in and out, demon flip around, that is going to make it that much harder to touch him. And that's why you see Geese Howard players. Whenever you go up against a Geese Howard player online, they're always jumping, always jumping because it makes it that much harder for you to hit them. And if you do hit them, what's going to happen? You're going to get a float combo and you're not going to be able to get that much damage uh, off of it. So. Jumping, that 2D jumping is very, very effective. Fireballs, very, very expected, uh, eff effective. Um, only a handful, a small portion of the community knows how to get around it. Um, I don't know. When I see Tekken Cross Street Fighter, it, it, it's a immediately, I, I wouldn't even buy the game. The only reason I would buy it is because for YouTube content. But other than that, I, if I never did YouTube, I would not buy the game. I would not buy it. I would completely skip it because it's just Akuma did not work. And another thing too, they were never able to nerf Akuma. He's one of the most nerfed characters in the game along with Geese Howard, yet he is still one of the most dangerous and powerful characters in the game along with Geese Howard. Just imagine, imagine having Ryu, Ken, Akuma, Chung Li. Chung Li can kick super fast. That's that like I don't I don't see that turning out how we want, how we expect. Um yeah, I don't know. When I see people say they want to take and cross Street Fighter, I think to myself either they like playing Akuma, they like 2D shenanigans, or maybe they just don't care. Maybe they just don't care about how how weak the Tekken characters are in comparison. The only way I would want a Tekken Cross Street Fighter, they would have to literally get rid of all of the 2D stuff. Not a fireball, not a 2D jump, not a EXDP, get rid of the EX meter altogether. They would have to behave specifically like a Tekken character. That's the only way I would want it. But I don't know. That's it. That's all I really want to say. Um, I just, I don't really understand why people request Tekken Cross Street Fighter or still talk about the game. Considering how long it's been in development, 12 years, only 30% is done over the course of 12 years. And then also, the 2D characters we do have are monsters. You know? But that's it. That's all I really want to say. Uh, I just want to get that off my chest. Hey guys, hey guys, make some noise for a T, but he's had an amazing year. That guy is actually ridiculous. I'm a super big fan of his. I've just been excited to compliment <laughs> one of the last. What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Back, what are you doing? But I like this shirt. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cold, man. <laughs> you 